Hello everyone, it is Toby here, back with another Minecraft video. Today it is another tutorial, because you guys seem to really enjoy those. We're going to be building this farmhouse that I have here, and it's a very simple build, not much detail, and it's on fire. Oh, slash game rule. Ah, do fire, tick, false. Oh dear. That, yeah. Right. Fireplace is going to have to go. <laughs> Didn't think that was going to happen. Right. So if you're going to build this on a survival world where you can't change the fire tick, I wouldn't recommend it. So, that's the first word of warning. Don't do it. If you're gonna ha if you're gonna replace where stuff burns, you can make alterations like take out the fireplace or something. Well, yeah, we just lost half the house. Well, this is basically what the house looks like. Yeah, we're gonna be building this wreckage here. It's absolute wreckage, and yeah, no, we're not really. I'm gonna show you how to build it properly, and yeah, and we've got a bit of a wreckage here that we need to build a new one. So. What we're going to want to grab is first oak wood. We're going to build building it over here. Sorry if I keep referring back to that. I'm not good at building from heart. And we just want to go every three blocks like that. So four wooden blocks, three blocks apart. And then going back, you want to do it twice like that and create a rectangle. And the house is quite small. There's not a huge amount you can fit in it, but it does look very good. And what you're wanting to do basically is just create a checkable pattern like this, just a check like this. Then for these ones here, you want to bring them up, but uh, until they're four blocks tall. So bring them up by three blocks, and leave the ones at the front as they are, because there is going to be where the canopy with the farm underneath it is going to go. And I think this does look really cool. And in between these, you're just going to want to go across like this and create a beam. And we're going to be laying out basically the um, structure, basic structure out first. Then we're going to do the roof and then we'll do the walls and stuff. And then you just want to go up three blocks on each one. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. I'll stop saying one, two, three. There we go. Now, let me see if I can remember correctly if there's anything left. Yes, there is. All right. What we're going to want to do is... I mean, there's kind of a bit left. Right, what we're going to want to do. Along the sides and the back, we're going to bring this spruce wood. Uh, not Why did I say spruce wood? The oak wood across, but on the front, we're going to leave it because this is going to be a window section. And what we're going to be doing now is, first off, we're going to be doing this roof. So we need some... There we go. This is all we need, really. And what we're going to be doing is, if I can remember correctly, we're going to want stairs coming off the side like this. And then they go, no, and then it turns like that, and in the middle we want a full block. That's right, and another full block with a stair and a stair. That is right. And then on the side we just want a stair and that again. And then we're going to be creating some plant boxes, so you just want to put some grass in there. And that's going to basically make it have more detail. And then you just want to put some slabs in like this and bring them out to here like so and then you want to have um yeah this bit's annoying right get some fences <laughs> we'll do the fencing bit first we'll just put a fence on each one of the oakwood blocks so i put them in the other places and put a stair on top of them to basically finish this off and then you just want to connect these stairs up at the front it's just a bunny cruising through our building. There we go. This is basically the front roof almost done. And what you want to do is just go underneath. Add in this. And also this. just want to fill this in with slabs to hide the dirt. And it also makes the roof look more chunky and supported. So that's going to be the roof for the front bit. And then you, what I'm going to do is we'll sort this bit out in a minute. We're going to put in the layer for the roof here so you want 
that to be that, and then this bit's quite difficult. You need to block, place it on. Do the walls in a minute, and then here you just want this, and again another block to place it on here. Bit of lag there, bit of a lag spike, but not to worry. And then here, what you're going to want to do is, yeah, here you want to do this. And actually, these top blocks here, uh, we're going to have to remove for now. And what we're going to do, let's just put them in there for temporary and do this. That's also wrong. There we go. Like that. And then in these bits, you'll just want to put a slab, a slab, and then the middle bit is going to be a slightly bigger roof section. And you just want to bring that up and put your stair there with a slab on top. And that's going to be the window sections there. And you also actually want to put a slab on top of these as well to give it more of a point. And that's our window sections. The middle one's bigger. It just adds a little bit more detail to it. And then we're just going to want to do these roof sections on either side. And they're going to all interconnect and look good. Hopefully, so if you're liking this tutorial, um, please comment down below if you if you build this in your world, and if you build something similar, take inspiration for this. Also, do let me know, and also let me know if it was a good tutorial, and what I could do to do better, and also any other tutorials you want me to do. I want I'm doing this farmhouse because I thought it looked pretty cool, and it'll be a nice addition to the. What did we build last time? We did how to improve your building skills. That yeah you can spice up this tutorial with some extra detail if you did watch that video and want to use the tips I gave you in that video to spice up your building and what I'm doing here is fairly simple build quite easy to follow it should be and yeah I hope it's easy to follow anyway right here is gonna no you just want to gloss over that with a stair like that because that all connects fine and then here you're just going to go from this side again. There we go. Placing blocks is difficult. And then don't worry about these gaps here. We'll fill them in in a second. And then you just want to connect this up. And then the roof is pretty much done. Because that's basically the hard bit out of the way now. You just need to do the walls and stuff. Right, let me grab some spruce wood to fill this middle bit in. And next we're going to work on the fireplace, which is an o which is after what we saw happen over there, the fireplace is going to be optional, let's say. But I'm going to build it anyway just to show you how I built it. And how I did it was I set it out like this. Here we go. There we go, and then we just need some stairs, stone brick stairs, and a cobblestone wall to put on the top as a little chimney pot. And with these, again, just to go around here, just to add a bit more detail to it. And there we go, it's slightly different to that one actually. We'll do the same as we did over there. There it is. So that is now the same fireplace. And also, I, I haven't tried this before, and it I have a feeling it might look okay just then. Yeah, no, it doesn't work. No flower pot can be placed on there. Right. Now, we want to work on the walls. Because now it's just basically a bare empty shell of a house. I mean, it looks alright for an empty shell. And then we're just going to add in the walls. So down the bottom here, you just want to create your window sections. On these back walls as well, window sections. And we'll do the interior as well, so I can show you how to do an interior. And what hopefully will look quite good in the interior but then again it's personal preference when it comes to stuff like this and then for this one you just wanna this is the door section you're just gonna leave it like that and there we go this is the base floor in and up here we're just gonna want to do this and this is where we can fill in these gaps now and we'll just do the same over here as well and then get back out. It does look quite weird from the inside, but um, honestly, I'm not too bothered by it. It looks okay. But there we go. There are the window sections looking good. And up here, actually, we don't want these to be wood. 
that's why I was leaving it. We want these to be spruce wood so it looks like part of the roof. And as you can probably tell, that's going to look quite funky from the inside. But that doesn't matter, we can sort that out at a later date when we do the interior and try and cover it up somehow. But I didn't find it too necessary and just what I'm going to do is just cover it up at the back here, just everything covered up. No really much windows on the top, the only windows are going to be where I put them on the front. And actually I completely forgot up here, just three blocks there and also the same on the other side. And then we're going to finish the exterior and go on to the interior in a second. There we go. So now as you can probably expect we're going to need some glass panes. It's your preference on wh which colour you use. That just looks like you've got an empty inventory slot, that's quite cool. But um, yep, yeah, or if you've used fences or whatever, I'm just going to use the regular glass panes. It's completely personal preference on what you use for the windows. And that's going to be the same with the door. Completely personal preference on what door you use. Just need to go around the back and plonk in these. There we go. And we're going to choose our flowers. I'm just going to stick some of these allium flowers. Oh, God, that was a bit of lag there. What really annoys me is how sometimes they place off center. I think if there's any. F yeah, the flowers are sort of left here. But they kind of place off center. I wish they'd just place center. I mean, it does look quite random, but it kind of messes up the build sometimes. Right, let's finish the exterior. So what we're going to want to do is go into our um, inventory, grab some pods all. And with the pods all, what we're going to want to do is you can either use the sideways oak logs or the pods all. I'm just using the pods all because I think it looks cool. And then you want to create a path going up to the door. We actually want to put that there. And there we go. That is what we've got so far for the pods all floor. And you just want to create a punch, uh, create a punch, punch a hole in each of these. We're going to place these in. In here, I can't believe my <laughs> original building burnt down. That's quite a face palm. But now fire tick is off, so I can also light the fire in here. And you just want to put a fence gate here. And what we're going to do here is, you can probably guess, we're going to plant some wheat. So we're just going to fill these in with water. Grab ourselves a hoe. Which which hoe should we? Let's guess to get a diamond hoe, the rich man swag. And I have turned up the tick speed so we can quickly grow this wheat and see what it's going to look like. There we go. And grab our seeds. I mean, you can completely choice. It's complete choice over what you put in here. So carrots or potatoes. But as you can see, it grows really, really quickly. So we can have a look at that in a minute whilst we finish off the exterior. And the last bit for the exterior is literally just going to be a door. So we're just going to grab a spruce door. I really do like these doors. Put it in there. And the last thing we need to do is that. So the exterior is done. The wheat is now grown. This looks really, really nice if we go outside. Yeah, this house is looking really nice. Um, really, really good addition to a Minecraft world. And a really good house for a survival player as well. Because it looks nice and is quite resource friendly. And rest in peace what happened over here because of the fire. I knew I should have turned um, fire tick off. But anyway, interior now. We're just going to... with the I just didn't need to do that. I was thinking whether to do... Alright, with this we're just going to create a stone. I'm not going to light the fire in here. Even though that... Actually, no. Fire tick's off. We can light the fire in there if we want to. But I'm going to show you what I did for the interior. And then that's going to be the video done. Because I don't want to make these too long. Aim for around 15 minutes at most, but I'm honestly going to think we're going to overrun that a bit, but it really doesn't matter, I don't think. There we go. Floor is in place. So how we're going to light this is should be pretty obvious by now, is we're going to grab some stone bricks. There we go, there we go. Um, iron bars. I think this is how I did it. No, no, it's not. I didn't use iron bars. I used... Um, where is it? Cobblestone wall and... Stone brick slab, put a slab in there, cobblestone wall all around. Grab these blocks, just what I usually do is just fill that in and grab our nether rack and in there. And yeah, fire tick falls just to be sure. I don't want any. I really do like the sound effect of lighting the fire. I wish they should, would do that with the flint and seal as well. But. Anyway, 
and floor in for this top floor as well and we'll work on the interior details but yeah I wish they'd make that sound with the flint and seals, it's quite a cool sound but anyway I'm sorry I'm not doing anything on 1.9 at the moment because my 1.9 seems to have broken and then yeah so that that's unfortunate but this is where the stairs going to go so you can still make use of it each of the windows and just using a different color wood really does break up the texture and if you saw my um, other video where I was talking about breaking up textures you'll know exactly what I'm on about here in the corner actually we're just going to where can we grab a quick spruce wood block from there of course and jump down and put that in the corner and here is where we're going to put our furnace and crafting table it's going to be like the kitchen area and we're just going to put like a cake there actually no there and for a table a quick easy simple table is I'm pretty sure everyone knows how to build this but just in case you don't I'm just going to quickly show you table carpet and item frames on the side of the chairs and that makes it a nice table and chairs so that is the downstairs pretty much done if you want to add any more detail feel free it's nice and lit in here it's quite cool and that's the downstairs interior done now we're going to run upstairs as you can see it's more dark and we got this whole thing going on here with this funky pattern in the wall which you can't do too much about but what we can do is we can add in some storage here like that and actually what I'm going to do is with the stairs this is what I did in the last one it gives a curvature to the roof is just put them in and what we did with this storage area is we put in these blocks I think and we just got an oak wood door and some trap doors and added in this kind of like storage area but I actually think it looks better without the door but that's completely personal preference what you do over there and as with anything with this build you can just be watching this build to gather inspiration that's what I tend to do I tend to go watch other people's tutorials and gather inspiration and then make my own but literally simple stuff over here is going to be a plant pot with again a random flower in that's that's a torch another allium flower there we go and the thing to top off this entire build is going to be the light and I'm pretty sure you've seen me do this in other places because it's been done in my fishing hut tutorial as well if you haven't checked that out already please go go check that out because I really really love that build and you just literally just have to add that into it and that just illuminates it but that's all I'm going to do for the interior and all I'm going to do for this build now because we are running low on time and yeah really really nice simple build here and I hope you guys really did like this tutorial and let me know down in the comments if I could do anything to improve or any more tutorials you want to see in the future also just generally let me know if you like this tutorial by leaving a like and if you really did enjoy it and want to see more please do go subscribe and support the channel hugely and yeah you'll be able to find some more good tutorials and things on my channel stuff like mini games building series I've got on which I'm actually going to record in a minute so a new episode of that's coming out which should be cool and I'm just going to add something to this chimney just to make it a bit different is we're going to add some smoke and that actually brings out the texture a lot more but yeah I'm going to actually turn the fire tick to actually not yet because I need to get a thumbnail but I'm going to do that in my own time just watch this house burn because that was funny I don't know <laughs> it was quite funny how it burnt down but anyway guys thank you so much for watching and I'm out I'll see you later